Thank you for tuning in to this TAM Lab Nano session. My name is Brian Wuchner. I'm a Staff Technical Adoption Manager at VMware by Broadcom. Today, we'll be digging into the TAM Data Manager appliance and using it to collect data. We'll first start by downloading the files we need. We'll deploy an appliance, we'll log in, create a project, and then export data. Got a couple links here. We'll, we'll use the first two that are highlighted in orange in the session today. Uh, the first one is the collector user guide. It contains documentation for both uh, the appliance and the Java application. And then we'll specifically download the appliance and deploy it to a vSphere lab and then use it to collect the data. Also included is a link to a JDK 11 Java application. So if you would want to install like Open JDK on Mac or Windows uh, to be able to run this tool that is also supported. All right, so we'll get started with the demo. The first step will be to deploy an appliance. So we right click on a folder in our inventory. We'll select that we wanna download a local file and we'll browse to the file that was downloaded uh, from the link on the previous slide. Once it's complete, we'll say next. We'll give our VM a name. We'll pick a compute cluster. We'll say next, accept our license agreement. We'll select some storage to deploy to. select a network. We can optionally specify um, IP settings, domain names, that sort of thing, or leave them blank for DHCP. In this case, we'll leave them blank for now and then say finish. In the interest of keeping the demo moving, I have already deployed one copy of this appliance. So we'll take its IP and we'll log into a new browser session. We've not replaced the certificate or anything, so we'll just skip past the warning about the unsafe certificate. We'll again accept our license agreement, and then we'll enter the product as a customer. From here, we will create a new project. We'll give it a name, and we'll tell it that for this purpose, we only need vCenter data. There is an option to anonymize data that takes things like uh, VM host name, cluster name, and obfuscates them by putting GUIDs in. Um, yeah, this is you know, maybe required for some environments, um, but I will caution if you anonymize the data uh, when the TAM later reviews it, uh, you know, it will be difficult to talk about specifics of virtual machines or host names because those names are not present in the data. So for this case, we will not anonymize our data. And on this screen, we will um, add a vCenter to collect data from. The first field is just a descriptive name. Uh, the second field would be a host name. Um, we'll type in a user. In this case, I'm just going to use my uh, normal user credentials for the lab and we'll validate them to make sure I type that password correctly. Uh, the documentation does spell out the minimum required permissions, uh, which is just read only, uh, plus an optional uh, global licensing role if we want to include license data. Let's try this again with a different account.
also I uh, see the problem here. The, uh, the error is not my password. It's this host name did not actually populate like I thought it did. Uh, we're using the administrator account again. Read only is what's required. Um, I added this vCenter just manually because it was only one vCenter. We can also import a list of vCenters. Uh, the documentation talks about what the CSV file needs to contain from a, a header and row perspective. We can also bulk apply credentials. So if we have you know tens of vCenters, uh, we can type our username and password once, select which vCenters we want to apply that to, and then click apply. And that way we don't have to type the same password 10 times. All right, so we'll say next again here, it does uh, kind of revalidate um, those credentials. So if the credentials fail, it will give us an error before it comes onto this next screen. And there's just a, an agreement here about the data. We're going to accept it and continue. That will start our data collection. If we look at my data, we can actually see uh, each row as it progresses, right? So if we have multiple vCenters, it will do them kind of sequentially one, one at a time. We can see the status for each. Uh, once they're complete, it will turn green. If there's any sort of warnings or whatnot, this green uh, check mark would be uh, potentially yellow, different color. And you could hover over the little tool tip that uh, would tell us what failed. Um, now that all of our vCenters are complete, we can export this data. Um, I always forget where to do this. We can right click and say export project, or we can select actions and export project. Either way, it'll download the same file uh, and the file name will uh, not have an extension, but it'll be called TDM export project. And then whatever we named the project in this case, my data. And then we can take that resulting file um, and share it with a TAM who can then continue the process to create uh, reports to share back with you. That is the end of this demo. Thanks for your time.